What's up people, it's the Zigman and I thank you for watching today's video in which I will be talking about my helium mining antenna, cables and connectors for a Linkstock or Bobcat 300. Before I dive in, be sure to check the links in the description below as they'll help you out with what you may need. And if you find this information useful, consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons as they'll help out with the YouTube algorithm and it'll keep you posted the next time I post a video. This is a graphic overview of my installation. I'm going to be connecting a Rack 5.8 BBI antenna to a helium hotspot such as the Bobcat 300 or Linkstop Miner. This will be an indoor installation. The antenna will be set up outside, mounted to a non-penetrating mast, placed on a flat rooftop, while the miner is placed inside the house. I'll also be showing you how to ground this installation to a service mast since my home doesn't have a grounding rod. I started by attaching the mast to the rack antenna using a double mast clamp. After securing the antenna to the mast, I connect the lightning arrestor. There is an N-type male connector at the end of the rack antenna. Connected to it will be the lightning arrestor with the N-type female to female connections. This connector can be hard to crimp with a solid conductor. So, I switched it with an 8 gauge terminal lug from Home Depot. The purpose of the lightning arrestor is to protect your equipment in the event of an indirect lightning strike or electrical energy. This will give a more secure connection. Connected to the lightning arrestor is an 8 foot LMR400 antenna cable with an N-type male connector on one side and an RPSMA male connector which plugs into the back of the miner. To protect the connectors from UV and water damage, I've wrapped them with a layer of Super 33 Plus electrical tape, then applied a layer of coax seal, followed by another layer of electrical tape. To ground the antenna, bond a 10 gauge solid copper grounding wire to the terminal lug on the lightning arrestor. To ground the antenna mast, I mounted a terminal lug onto it. Using a separate piece of ground wire, I bond one end to the terminal lug on the mast and bond the other end to the ground wire coming from the lightning arrestor using a split bolt connector. This ground wire will run down the side of the house all the way to the service mast. I finish by creating a bond between the copper ground wire and the service mast using an eight inch galvanized steel ground strap. This effectively grounds both the antenna and the antenna mast. With that being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Helium Network and which miner did you get? Did you get a Link Stop? Did you get a Bobcat? Leave a comment if you got one. It's always exciting to share similar projects that we're all invested in. Until the next time, happy mining my friends.